I tell this story once before, right? So, Jesus is going through the neighborhoods. And he's going through this little tight neighborhood where everybody is, you know, um, following right behind. And while he's going through this neighborhood, there's this woman with the issue of blood. Doesn't say what type of issue, it just says issue of blood. So, the woman ends up, you know, following Jesus. Or, you know, trying to go and wade through the crowd. And the whole time she's screaming out Jesus' name. Hosanna! Hosanna! Except, you know, Jesus, uh, Jesus can't hear him. So, she ends up, you know, wading through the crowd, wading through the crowd. And she gets close enough to go in and touch him. Or to touch the hem of his cloth. And because, you know, Jesus is, you know, spiritually, you know, like sensitive, he stops everybody who touched me. The whole crowd stops, hide their hands. But Jesus want to know. Who touched me? So the woman, you know, reveals herself. It, it was me. And the only reason why I did it was because I knew that if I touched the hem of your cloth, I knew that I'd be made whole. So from the outside looking in, I must have thought, you know, man, this woman is in trouble. She, she just touched Jesus. But really, it wasn't nothing like that. It's uh, kind of like a, a child's look, stand up and be, uh, be recognized. If you want something, then have the faith enough to want to reach out for it. When it comes down to it, Jesus is going to care less whether or not you know people are watching, whether or not you're embarrassed, or whether or not you you know have total belief in what you know, what will happen if he was going to touch it. After all, when it came down to faith, he said, look, Captain, faith is tiny as a mustard seed. Can you imagine how tiny a mustard seed is? It's nothing more than a little grain. So a lot of times, we like to go ahead and, you know, have this, you know, narrative, look, Lord, like a lion, be as bold as you can. But everything big starts very, very small. Even a lion, as big as it is, as fearsome as it is, starts out as a cub. So, I mean, if you're feeling small, not short, or even a bit shy, it's best to go and do what you learn. Do what you're going to do. I can know faith. Because we're going to be so lost in our strength compared to the strength of others. And because we see people as so much stronger than ourselves, it prevents us from even starting in the first place. So yes, you may be small. You may be a little bit more you know, weaker than uh, people a little bit further on their life journey. But the goal is, just like that woman, it's just not to get lost in the crowd. Be bold enough to go and reach out anyway. 